December 4th, 2021. It's almost five o'clock in the evening. The sun's setting on our solar system. It's 40 panel ground mount system that was uh, installed by Advancing Solar Solutions in Ripley, West Virginia. Uh, anyway, this system will, allows you to just use some cranks and change the angle month by month or quarterly, whatever you want to do. I chose choose to do it month by month. Right now it's set at 53 degree angle and that is appropriate for our latitude for the months of uh, November and January. What I'm going to do now is change it to the December angle and it's going to take about five minutes. I go, go and use the hand cranks on the back and uh, have a little angle finder and we'll change the uh, change all five uh, all five can there's five cranks back there and I go from one to the other uh, and just do five five cranks at a time so that I don't warp the system too badly and uh, voila it'll be ready to get maximum solar gain for the month of December uh, here in southern West Virginia this system produces is capable of producing uh, up to about 120 kilowatt hours a day. Uh, actually, 116 has been our record so far, but we're sure we can get 120 on the on the proper day. Uh, anyway, here we go. Ooh. This end I do 10 cracks. Well, let's go. Next month it'll be back to 54. 46 for February, 38 for March. We crack it on down. 30 for April, 22 for May, 15 degrees for June. It's pretty flat. July back to 22. August 30, September 38, October 46, back to 54 for November. So that's the way it goes, and here's the little gauge that we have. It just slaps right on the I-beam there. Here's the angle finder, and it's about 59 degrees now. I'm trying to get to, uh, I think I said 62, but we've only got a little bit of space left here. One, two, one, that, that's it. So 60 degrees is about the best we can do with the system. We're almost at 60. I'm going to go down the line and try to get them all close to the camera. Thank you. 
So that's the most extreme angle, more toward the uh, vertical for December. And it maxed out at about 59 degrees. Uh, the cranks won't go any further. They'd have to be installed a little bit differently to bring it to 62, but that's close enough. That's pretty close. We'll be catching, it's the most optimal angle for winter sun. So we should do pretty well. About a, three or four days ago, we had uh, 96 kilowatt hours. That's pretty good for the end of November. Uh, so it's quite a system. And uh, uh, our worst problem is we don't use enough electricity. We send it back on the grid, but on certain days when it's about 70 degrees out and nobody's using air conditioning or heat, the grid is all over capacity. It's got lots and lots of uh, voltage going on. And without anybody sponging that voltage off, we can't hardly put any back on the grid. Uh, our inverters can't hardly take what's coming from the solar panels and put it onto the grid. So we're, uh, we need to find more ways to use electricity on days like that. Okay. Anyway, it's fun. It's a lot of fun having solar. You just uh, feel like you're a producer, like you're you know, to have your own power plant, it's quite a thrilling experience and not to pollute at all. I mean, once it's in, there's very little maintenance to it. And you generate electricity with no fumes. It's really something. All the best. Bye.